Hey, how you doing guys? Some exciting news. Uh, of course, we had the release of uh, Mac OS Mojave recently, a couple of days ago from Apple. And I've been thoroughly enjoying it. Of course, I beta tested for quite a few months on a backup system and now I have it on my 2013 Mac Pro. So the exciting news is, of, of course, the Final Cut Pro 10 can finally use external eGPUs. Uh, it can actually do this one of two ways. Um, one way is to uh, attach an external monitor to the eGPU and it will automatically use that uh, GPU for things like rendering and uh, accelerated playback and things of that nature. The second way is uh, going to the uh, application folder, uh, right clicking Final Cut Pro 10 and selecting more information. Uh, doing that, um, You'll simply check the preferred external GPU check mark box and uh, not just, of course, just Final Cut Pro 10, but under other applications that support it as well. And then it will simply use that external GPU. So this is a great solution for people who are uh, using mobile eGPUs and uh, laptops, for instance. So this would be great for MacBook Pros, MacBook Airs and even the 2013 uh, Mac Pro. Well, actually it only uses Thunderbolt 2, but of course there are workarounds, I suppose. Um, so let me give you some of the things this is actually gonna improve on in the eGPU, improve playback, uh, including color correction and video effects, uh, improve performance for 3D effects, like uh, using, uh, they use a lot of motion effects uh, employed into Final Cut Pro 10, like um, lower thirds and uh, things of those nature. Fast, faster stabilization, optical flow, faster rendering, and faster export of the timeline. Um, so great news. Um, kind of a weird way they implemented it, I think. And I was actually expecting them to uh, perhaps uh, do an update. Uh, a lot of times after a major Mac OS update, they will um, usually uh, add improvements to Final Cut Pro 10, Motion, uh, Apple Compressor, and things of those natures. We haven't seen it as of yet. Um, what I was actually hoping as well is Apple's compressor would go from 32-bit to 64-bit, but uh, considering they decided uh, since uh, this won't be the first operating system to use 64-bit, it's going to be the next one and not in Mojave. Perhaps maybe that's why they're going to make the move to 64 next year. I'm hoping they're going to do it this year, but we'll see. Um, so great news. Uh, tell me, guys, what you think. And thanks, as always, thanks for watching.